in their performance, which is going to be tough, considering it's been a week fraught with disagreements and injuries. The thing that's been causing all of these injuries is their technical requirement. Our pairs will have to jump off the ice and into the air, landing on the razor-sharp blade without falling over. Here's what the judges are hoping to see. Athleticism and courage are essential in tonight's required element, as our stars must leap from the ice and tackle an ambitious jump. The judges will be paying close attention to the level of difficulty, the distance traveled, and the height of each jump. But to really impress, they must land cleanly on one foot. Just one wrong move, and our stars may be putting away their skates for good. So, that's how the pros perform these dangerous jumps. Let's hear from Johnny Weir to find out what they're going to be looking for tonight. On the jump, we're going to be looking for speed and attack heading into the jump. And of course, a high and beautiful position in the air. The landing with the same speed and extension as going into the jump. With the love story, there are so many ways you can play it. We can go from Romeo and Juliet, that tragic love story, to the modern love of Beyonce and Jay-Z. Passion, connection, love, romance, all of those things are what we're looking for. Thank you very much, Johnny. Up first tonight, the actress you had a tough week in training. It's soap star Rebecca Budding and her partner, Fred Palasek. Last week, Rebecca and Fred skated a technical marvel. But the artistic impression left the judges wanting more. What I'd really like to see is more passion, more intensity. Seduce me. Going into week three, I think it's anyone's competition. I feel like we have a lot of work to do. Yeah. The required elements this week are a jump. <laughs> Ow! And telling a story. And my biggest note has been on acting it out. So I'm going to have to act it out. We're supposed to create this kind of tumultuous relationship. And really grab my shirt, because I want to react. I think Fred, you know, he knows I'm an actress, and I don't think he has an idea of what I do, so I'm going to bring him to work. OK, everyone settle, please. All right, we're going to have to up. Seeing Rebecca on the set of All My Children, I realize she gives 100% emotionally in every scene, even when they rehearse. I generally don't give 100% of that emotion until the show, and I think it would be more helpful for her if I did it every day in practice. Go. One, grab. Uh. Ah. Ow. Did I do something to my wrist? Oh my god. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It hurts. When I twist it, it feels funny. It looks swollen. I'm waiting outside the hospital right now. Rebecca's inside seeing a doctor. I'm a little bit concerned. I don't know what's going to happen at all. When the x-rays came back, the doctor told me to ice my wrist and to rest it. The ice I'm going to do, but there's no time for rest. I want to do this program on Monday. I'm going to fight through this. We'll find out how Rebecca's injury will affect her performance when she and Fred hit the ice when we come back. Will they get off the ground? And can they interpret a romantic love story? We'll find out right after this, live. To skating with the stars. It's been a crazy day here today. Now, we have the footage of Brandon and Brooks' accidents that we will show you in a few moments' time. But before the break, we saw Rebecca and Fred's tough week of training from arguments to an injury that resulted in a trip to the ER. Now, she's been advised to rest. <laughs> That's clearly not going to happen. Here they are on the ice with a performance that hopefully tells a story of a tumultuous love. Rebecca told me backstage that she's still suffering from some pain in her wrist. An injury can either be a distraction or bring out the fighter in you. Let's see if she's able to put it out of her mind and generate the chemistry with Fred that the judges will be looking for.
Come on over, Rebecca. Come on over, Fred. You're so brave. So brave. Well done. Let's hear from the judges. Johnny. Uh, that was wonderful, wonderful. It's a hard piece of music. You chose the third most difficult jump to perform to do. The lifts were stunning. Skating 10 times better than you have. You're the most natural skater we have. It was beautiful. Thank you. Dick? Well, uh, I mean, you must be kidding. Anybody as good looking as you that'll drape me with part of her clothing is knowing to get a high mark in this competition. <laughs> You said, you, you said before that you had no confidence. Well, we certainly didn't see that tonight. You were wonderfully confident. Your edging was good. The lifts were sensational. You were really channeling your Dorothy Hamill inner self. Thank you, Dick. Lorianne? Rebecca, you are a beautiful figure skater. Amazing job. And you trusted the choreography and the movement to tell such a great story. Great job. Thank you, Lorianne. Thank you. All right, guys, go head over to the Kiss and Cry for your scores. Tonight, when the lines open at the end of the show, you at home get five votes per phone line and per email address at abc.com. Now let's get some expert analysis from Tani. Let's take a look first at this incredibly fast pencil lift. There is no room for weakness on Rebecca's part. Every muscle has to be solid, getting the timing absolutely perfect to create that floating effect. And now moving into the required element, perfect timing, no hesitation into this solid flip jump and a smooth landing. That was quite the start to the competition, Rebecca. And we saw earlier that you had a wrist injury. How are you feeling coming into tonight's performance? I'm good. I'm beat up, but we all are. So, you know, I just wanted to get through it, really. Perfect. And Fred, Rebecca wasn't the only one that had an injury. Tell us what happened to your hand. Well, when, when we had that fall, it slammed pretty hard into the ice, but it's, it's fine. It's and still swollen, but. Well, you know, I, I'm more proud of her because it took, it took a very brave woman to go out there and do what she did tonight. Absolutely. Congratulations. As we said last week, technical scores reflect the level of difficulty in the routine and how well the content was executed. Let's get them now. Will the judges please reveal their scores for technical merit? Laurieann Gibson. Nine. Johnny Weir. Eight. Dick Button. Eight. And that's a 25 for technical merit, but this week it is all about the artistic. And the artistic impression is a big part of tonight's competition as the judges will be looking for a convincing romance. Again, these scores reflect how well the routine was presented, the musicality, interpretation of the story, and the connection between the partners. And now the scores for artistic impression. And now the scores for artistic impression. Laurieann Gibson. Nine. Johnny Weir. Eight. Dick Button. Eight. And that's a 25 artistic impression. That brings your total to 50 out of 60. How do you feel about that? I feel great about that. I mean, honestly, our dress rehearsal was rough, so I'm happy. <laughs> well, you've set the bar high. If you think Rebecca and Fred should stay in the competition and they make it through tonight's elimination, you have to vote when the lines open at the end of the show. Vernon?